All right. Well then, so this is definitely not how I anticipated today going. Yeah, I thought I was going to do a couple of different things, try and survive this nonsensical pandemic, but no, apparently we, we have other business to attend to. I may not able to currently be able to drive with medical issues, but can take you on any day and kick your ass, just like most on this list. I may not have been the best driver, but worked hard on sponsorships and worked to develop my skills and improve and ultimately made it to the Cup Series. Not something you can say behind your little computer. Love, Matt Tift. Alright, folks. Well, looks like we're back at it again. Yes, 2020 is going to be the year. You know, I'm really proud of myself for actually making it through all of 2019 without something like this happening. I feel like we've, we, we, I, I feel like last year was my, uh, just my, my most brilliant of all. Just being able to stay out of the drama for once. You know, that was, a, that was a nice change of pace, let me tell you right now. And you know what, my favorite part about this is that Ty Dillon didn't even have to come at me last time. And he still made a better argument than Tiff did. Like, like, just, like, just... The 2018 Daytona 500, what, review, that wasn't even about Ty. Like, I don't even think I mentioned Ty in the video, and yet there he was, defending his brother's honor. And I feel like I was very generous in the other Matt Tiff video that I did, which was the, um, the, uh, the Martinsville race. I feel like I was very generous in that one. I feel like I was very kind. I was very, very charitable in my interpretation of that race. So I guess that was all for nothing. I guess that was all for nothing. All right, let's, let's try and dissect this. I may not able to currently be able to drive with medical issues. That's the end of the sentence. So, I mean, this isn't high school English class, so I'm not going to dwell on this one too much. But just, just, just gonna, just gonna put out there the fact that this sentence exists. But can take you on any day and kick your ass, just like most on this list. And you know what? I believe you're probably correct when you say that. You know, all things considered, you've probably been driving race cars ever since, you know, you could first start stringing together coherent sentences which actually may still not actually be the case, but, but, you know what, just ignoring that, just ever since you've been able to actually, like, stand and speak, like, you've probably been in race cars. I, on the other hand, have been poor basically my entire life. I was born to a single mother, a single teen mother, I was lucky enough to have a PS1 in like three really good games, so like I didn't give a shit, but like in general, we've been dirt fucking poor our entire lives, alright? So like basically what I'm trying to say is that I never ever ever had a shot at a racing career. Never in my life. It was not gonna happen. Like even in the 1950s when this shit was new and I was in the state that I was as a child, I probably would not have even come close to racing cars, you know? You, on the other hand, have been in them your entire life. Probably, like, I don't even know what to say to you. You've been in them your entire life. Like, of course you're gonna be probably a better fucking driver than I am, considering the fact that you've been doing it for probably nearly two decades at this point. Like, what I'm trying to fucking say is, yeah, you probably beat me. But all things considered, you know, we should fucking do this race. We should do this race, dude. Because if I beat you, that would be the funniest shit. That would be the funniest shit in the history of the internet. Just dead ass. All right, let's move on. I may not have been the best driver, but worked hard on sponsorships and worked to develop my skills and improve and ultimately made it to the Cup Series. Not something you can say behind your little computer. Yes, the man finally learned how a comma works, but you see, now you're overusing the commas. There should be a comma after sponsorships. You know, like, you should put a period somewhere in that sentence, dude. Like, for God's sake, man. 
you got to be able to give a period at some point. I mean, I know I already know you probably wrote this while you were on your period, so you've obviously got periods to spare. Just put a period in the sentence, please. For God's sake, man. All right, let's dis dissect this. Let's let's just go back. I may not have been the best driver. Understatement of the decade. Yeah, that's probably the reason why you're on the top 10 worst current drivers list. Funny how that works, isn't it? Yeah. Can we just take a just take a look at a microcosm of Matt Tiff's career? I'm not even going to talk about the truck series. Completely disregard the truck series, okay? In Xfinity, Matt Tiff got into the car that Daniel Suarez won the championship in. I'm not going to pretend like I haven't been against that championship since it happened. But, like, at the same time, Suarez won three races and I think had the second best or third best, one of the two, average finishes in the entire series in 2016. Tiff got into that car and did absolutely nothing. <laughs> he didn't do shit. <laughs> he didn't do shit. He lost to Jeremy Clements! Matt! You lost to Jeremy Clements! What? And then he moved on to Richard Childress Racing, Rich Kids Racing, Rich Children Racing. Couldn't be more appropriate. Alright? He... Shut up, David Draymond. He... He gets into the two car, which was vacated by Brian Scott. And I mean, Brian Scott hasn't done really anything in his, in his entire career. But at the same time, Brian Scott has a truck series win, which is more than Matt Tiff can say. <laughs> but um, he got into that car, proceeded to continue to do absolutely nothing. He had the Richmond race, the Richmond race at, in 20... 18? Yeah, 2018. So that would have been the race that Chastain was in the 42 when he finished second. But the point that I'm trying to make is that Tift had that. He was he was on fresh tires, in first place, had control of the restart, and he still lost the lead in the first corner. You had that race handed to you on a silver fucking platter, and you still lost it. You did nothing in this car, and I don't want to. And I don't want to pretend like the ginger is a good driver or anything. But he got into that two car the next season and proceeded to have one of the best average finishes in a full season in the series of all time. <laughs> and like, and Tiff did nothing. Absolutely nothing in either of those cars. And then he goes on to say, ultimately made it to the Cup Series. Yes, yeah, you, you totally earned that one. Yep. Wow. Congratulations, man. You've won zero races your entire career. Here's a Cup Series car. Why? I don't know. It could be anything. But worked hard on sponsorships and worked to develop my skills and improve. Well, for the latter one of that, that obviously did not happen. But you worked hard on sponsorships. Yes, that Anderson's Maple Syrup that's been at the um, RCR team since like, what, 2011. Yeah, you definitely earned that one. What's Twinity, by the way? What even is that shit? And can I ask how the CEO is related to Matt Tift? Can, can, can I get a family tree that decides how that works? Let me just let me just ask that. And you know what else? Tift randomly had some of the strangest sponsors, like the NASCAR racing experience and whatnot, that that NASCAR themselves try to pawn off on all the drivers they want in the series, such as Bubba Wallace and Daniel Suarez. You know, all those guys that got these random sponsors. Tift also got those random sponsors. I don't know why NASCAR wanted him in the series so badly, but they kept handing them all of these random sponsors, you know. So they obviously wanted him in there for some reason. I don't know. Just as fucking fodder, I guess. I don't know. And ultimately made it to the Cup Series. Yeah, congratulations on that, by the way. That whole one top ten that you got out of, the, out of that business. Yeah, the only time that you were relevant in a Cup Series race the entire season was when 
the Coke Zero 400 or whatever they're calling it these days got rained out and you finished ninth. Ninth. The only time all season that you were relevant was when you finished ninth in a rain out. And I love how it goes to the old fateful, you know, the one where you've been utterly destroyed and, you know, you can't, you know, function, your brain can't function in an argument anymore. More than you can say from behind your little computer. Yes, wow. Yep, you got me there. I certainly am a keyboard warrior, man. But you know when it comes to keyboard warriors, I'm the best that's out there. Do you want to come at this? Do you want to come at this? I've got plenty more where this one came from, buddy. Like I said earlier, if I had a dad who was as rich as yours, I'd probably be doing exactly what you're doing. I believe Tiff was born in 1996. I was born in 1997. We'd be the same next car next class, bitch. I'd be following you the whole way, and I'd probably be outperforming you because you're trash. Now, originally, I wasn't even going to make this video. I was going to let this one go. I was going to be nice for once, and let this go. I was gonna post it to Twitter, it was gonna be a meme, everyone was gonna laugh at it and have a good time, but then something strange happened. You go to the top 10 worst current drivers video, you scroll through the comments, and would you look at that? It appears to have vanished from the page. What happened? And something else. That channel that posted that comment is a real channel. That, and I don't have the, like the archive.org screenshot of the website so that I could, you know, prove this, but just believe me, it was this actual channel. This Matt and Jordan channel is got like six videos, and it's, I believe it's primarily run by Matt Tiff's wife, which makes this even funnier. You're like, you know, we got all up on Angela Ruck's shit for saying, when she went, when she went down on fucking Kligerman, that I should not have phrased it like that. When when Angela Ruck went all in on Parker Kligerman a few weeks ago, and then she said, "Oh, I'm sorry, that was my husband. That was my husband who said those things. I'm sorry. I should control him better." You know, in this situation, I actually think it was Matt Tiff's wife that posted this comment. Like, dead ass. I'm pretty sure that Matt had nothing to do with this. And when she figured out like, wait a second, this is the dumbest comment ever posted to the internet. Delete. You know, when she figured that out, you know, it, I, I don't even think she needed Matt's approval on that one, you know? So, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that fucking, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Matt, that your wife had to do this <laughs> to you. but. If you're up for a challenge, I will take my stock off the goddamn, you know, production line Ford Fusion. I will take that and I will race against you, sir. I think I'd win. You know, all things considered, you probably would, you probably would win, alright? Because you've been racing for the better part of 20 years and I've never sat in a race car in my life, you know? So all things considered, you'd probably win it. But just imagine if you didn't, Matt. Just imagine how long and how many peals of laughter would just echo throughout the entire world. You know, when this pandemic fucking ends, if NASCAR's still around, you know, when it's November and Phoenix comes around, buddy, I'm gonna be there. You wanna go? You wanna fucking go? You wanna go? I, I just... I was gonna let this go, but you had to delete it. I'm surprisingly not actually blocked by Matt Tift on Twitter, which is probably the most surprising part about all this. But the fact of the matter is that Matt shouldn't have done this. Because for the record, just, just so that everyone's clear, you really can't say these kind of things back. Like, you're the only person on the entire list that should not have done this.
develop your skills and improve, ultimately made it to the Cup Series. You could take me on any day and kick my ass. Matt, Matt, in case you didn't know, you and I are not so different. Because? You have zero Cup Series wins. You have zero Xfinity wins. You have zero Truck Series wins. And you have zero Arca wins. You and I have the same amount of NASCAR wins. I've never sat in a race car in my life, Matt. You and I have the same amount of cup wins and arc wins. Even Riley Hurts has an arc win. Even Riley Hurts, dude. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say in response to you. Man, you shouldn't have done it. And I know it was probably Jordan who did it. I know. I'm going all in on your wife. I'm sorry. It's just the way that I am. It's just I'm just a womanizer, I guess. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been an absolute clown show of a video. I don't even know what even to say at this point. I think I've gotten my point across. I think I've gotten everything that I need to say out of my system. So, um, so yes, I am open for another internet beef. Business is good. It worked out pretty decently last time. So, hey, what you gonna do, Matt? And or Jordan, mostly Jordan. Come at me. So you can you can just be like, oh, ah. Like a fucking banshee. The video just ends immediately. It knows. It knows. Oh god. Oh, it's so bad. Why? Why would I do this? Why would I allow this to exist? What have I done? No. What have I done?